Now, hi, hi, Doug Mountain here. In our video today, <clears throat> you're going to look at uh, how you can actually determine the stationary points of a curve. Now, the stationary points are actually points at which the gradient is actually equal to zero. So if you look at this graph that I've drawn, the points at which the gradient would be zero are those three points. So if we draw the line, that's the horizontal line. That's the horizontal line. That's the horizontal line. Now the gradient of all the horizontal lines is actually zero. So the points where you're going to, you're likely to find the stationary points at those points. If we level them, that could be A, that could be B, and that could be C. Those are the stationary points. The points where the gradient is equal to zero. So now, if you're asked to find the, <coughs> the stationary points of a curve, if you're given that equation of the curve, how can you determine that? That's the very important question that we have. So the first thing that you have to do is you write the equation of the curve that you've been given. So x squared plus 4x raised to the power 3. So now from here, what you need to do is you differentiate that equation that you've been given. So you're going to say dy dx is equal to, we, if we apply the power rule, these two here will drop. So we're going to say 2 times 2, then 2 minus 1. That's, a, that's the power rule when you're looking at calculus. So this power will drop and you multiply it by the coefficient. Then from the same power after it has dropped, you send out you're subtracting your 1 from here. So now this would be 2 times 2, 4. x, 2 times 1, that's 1. But in most cases, we don't show up a 1. So <clears throat> that would be 4x. Then plus, equally, we have to drop the 3 there. 3 times 4, that's uh, 12x. Then we subtract the 1 from the power, and that will be 2. After having done that, I want you to take note of this because it's pretty, pretty important. The gradient, not the derivative. The gradient is actually zero. So it says zero is equal to 4x plus 12x squared. This one can actually be rewritten so that we have, that's a 12x squared plus 4x is equal to 0. So now, we can now factor out this uh, equation or the expression on the left side of the equation, the left side of the, the equal sign. We say, uh, what is common here? That is 4x, right? That will be 4x pulled outside is equal to zero. So now, what we've identified to be the common factor is what we divide in the other terms. So 4x into 12x squared. So 4 there, 1, 4 there, that's a 3. x there, x there, we're going to remain with 1x. We're going to have 3x plus 4x divided into 4x, that's 1. So now what we have is this. We have 4x. We are picking this one, then which is equal to 0. 4 there, 4 there. x is equal to 0. Okay. Then we can as well now pick what's on the inside, yeah? Say so 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So 1 will go that side, so we're going to have 3x is equal to 0 minus 1, which is equal to negative 1, 3x. Then we can divide both sides by 3, and we're going to have x is equal to negative 1 over 3. So <coughs> we 
we have the values of x as x is equal to 0. Then the other one is x is equal to negative 1 over 3. After having found the values of x, we can now determine the values of y. So we can say if x is equal to 0, I'm picking on the first value of x. If x is equal to 0, what then is y? So we're going to fall back on the original equation that we've been given, which is denoting the curve. Okay, so we're going to say y is equal to 2, where there is x, I plug in a 0, plus 4 times 0 raised to the power 3. So y is equal to 2 times 0, 0, plus 4 times. Okay, so uh, here's the thing. Let me do it real slowly. This one is 0 times 0, and it's going to give us a 0. Plus this one, when you expand this one, it will be 0 times 0 times 0. And we're going to have a 4 times 0. y is equal to 0 plus 0. y is equal to 0. So if x is equal to 0, then y will also be 0. So the first stationary point is on that on all those coordinates, 0, 0. Then what about the second uh, stationary point? So the second st stationary point will be found by doing what we just did. If we say if x is equal to, this time around we're plugging in negative 1 over 3. So we're going to go like, okay, y is equal to, there where there's x, we plug in negative 1 over 3. So that would be 2 negative 1 over 3, raised to the power 2 plus, 4, negative 1 over 3, raised to the power 3. So y is equal to, this one here, it will be 1, negative 1 over 3, times negative 1 over 3. So you've got negative times negative, positive, 1 times 1, 1, 3 times 3, 9. So this one uh, will be, 2, 1 over 9, plus a 4, then this to be negative 1 over 3, times negative 1 over 3, times negative 1 over 3, negative times negative positive, times negative negative. Then 1 times 1 times 1, that's 1, 3 times 3, 9, times 3, 27. So now, that will be negative 1 over 27. That's the sec, just a sec. y is equal to 2 times 1, 2 over 9, plus, so now that will be positive times negative, negative 4 times 1, 4 over 27. So now, to finalize this, we're going to say y is equal to, uh, what's the lowest common multiple of the 2, that's 27. So 9 into 27, that's a 3 times 2, 6 minus 27 into 27, that's 1 times 4, 4. And we're going to have 6 minus 4, that's 2 over 27. Okay, so now we are going to have the second stationary point, which is a uh, uh, negative 1 over 3, comma, 3 over 27. So those are the two stationary points on that curve. Friends, that's how we got it. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so. And don't forget to share the video with as many people as you can. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This is your friend and your brother, Doc Mountain.